I've had a question on one of my other videos about how you connect a multi-Wii up to the receiver and the ESCs for your model. So I thought I'd do a very quick short video and actually show you how to do that. Once you've done it once it seems very straightforward but it's a little bit daunting if you've never done it before. So in this video I'll go over what the different ports are for on the multi-Wii itself. Um, we'll actually wire this multi-Wii up live on screen. Um, we'll go through how you connect it to the receiver. I've got a little um, orange receiver here that we'll use for the demo. And finally how you figure out which motors plug in to which connectors at the bottom. So we'll start off at the very beginning with what the individual ports are. So here's a picture of the Multi-Wii itself and as you can see there are a number of ports that initially look very daunting. We'll go from the top clockwise. So at the very top you have uh, two I2C connectors. This is version 2.5 of the board which is identical pretty much to the version 2.0 in my other videos. The only main difference being is on this version there are actually two I2C connectors so you can connect the GPS I2C board as well as something like um, the little OLED display at the same time rather than have one or the other. And then moving round at the two o'clock position we have the UART. The UART is there to connect to things like um, well anything really that has a receive, uh, transmit, needs 5 volt and ground on it. Further round you've got the FTDI connector that's the one that we will use for things like uh, programming so you need the FTDI um, board to plug that into and on these the way you do it you always make sure the polarity is right so you see what it says black and green normally that means that the FTDI board is poking out to the side when it's connected properly at the bottom you've got the connection for a number of things things like the camera roll trigger and other bits and bobs down here but for this video all we're interested in is the connections for the motors and I'll show you how we figure out which motors go where and then finally on the left hand side we have the row of pins that you use to connect to the receiver so let's start there to connect the receiver up there you can see there's actually a little bit of a difference in that the throttle channel actually covers three pins and the other channels only pick one. So when you get your multi-wee board in the kit should be one of these cables which is where one end has the three wires going into one servo lead and the other end splits out the three wires into individual leads and we'll need that cable for the roll, pitch and your axis and another one of these if we want to connect the auxiliary pins as well to control the flight modes. On the receiver itself you'll probably find that it has written uh, the actual um, names of each of the channels so on this one it starts auxiliary one, gear, rudder, elevator, aileron, throttle with battery and bind at the bottle bottom so what you do is you just connect one to the other so we'll start with the easy one throttle goes into the top of the board and you uh, can see it clearly labeled here it says ground and um, plus and then d2 d2 is the signal lead so you plug the cable in like so with the ground at the top once you've done that then you plug that into the throttle channel on your receiver. Get the right pins, there we go. And there's the main one. Now that will actually power the receiver and it will also um, give us room for everything else. The next thing we do is then we plug in the next three items. So the next thing we'll do is plug in the next three cables. Now it doesn't matter which way you plug in this special cable that has the three leads at one end going into one plug. You just have to keep track of which colours which. So we'll plug this into the side. So that now means that these three are now my roll, pitch and your axis. So the black one is the next one and the black one is the roll axis. Now roll is aileron so we plug that into the aileron channel on the radio but because we're only interested in the signal we just plug it in the same way around so that's only the signal wire is connected and it'll work because it has the common ground on the first throttle connection. 
The next connection on the board is the red one. That's going into the pitch axis. Pitch is elevator. So we find the elevator channel and we plug the red one in the same way into the elevator channel. And then finally that leaves us with your, which is rudder, and that clicks into the rudder channel. So that's how we connect it to the receiver. Now the last cable here is actually for the auxiliaries, which is how you switch between the different modes. Now I'd recommend that you connect that up because you definitely need one of those. You can either use something like this, which is a cable which only has the one wire in it, or you can uh, use a three wire and put it on its side. But if we just connect this up, we can connect this to the final pin and connect that to auxiliary one, which is the way it'll work on my model. So there we are. Now we have it connected to the receiver. Next thing we need to think about is how we connect it to the motors. The motor connections are all along the bottom of the board. The way you install this is you can see there's a small arrow at the top that has to be facing forward and on the um, on the sides are where the other connectors are. Now if you go to hobbyking.com slash hobbyking slash store slash upload slash blah 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 on the screen I'll also put it as a link at the bottom or if you just search in multi Wii manual into Google the one of the first links that you will come to is um, a document a PDF that has all the bits and pieces in about how you connect this up. Not for this particular board, but has enough detail in to give you an idea of how it all goes together. Part of that is a diagram showing you how you connect the motors together. And the motors can be connected in either a Y, uh, a quadcopter in either X or a plus configuration, a bicopter, which is something I still want to do, or hexcopters, uh, or even how you connect the gimbal together. Uh, the numbers in each of these diagrams refer to the connector on the board that that motors and motors ESC plug into. Be aware and take note of the direction of the arrows because that is the spin that you're going to have to make sure it works on. So we'll actually look at the plus configuration. So if we zoom in on that one, you can see here that we've got the um, the front two motors are into the numbers 3 and 10 channel. The rear motors go into the 11 and 9 channel. And you can see clearly labeled on the uh, board, it says, you know, D3, 9, 10, 11, etc, etc. As we're only using four motors, we'll only use four of the connections. Obviously the others are there if you want to use a hexacopter. Now, what we'll do is we'll actually show you how to plug them in. So if we click to the view where we have it on the side, if you take the uh, lead from the speed controller and we'll assume that this motor is on installed on the quad and it's at the front left hand side so it's number three the way you install this is you take the lead from the speed controller and you find d3 on the board and then very clearly you can actually see written the plus the minus in the signal so the uh, minus is always the black or brown wire and the signal is usually white or yellow. So you plug this motor that's at the front left hand side into D3 like so. And you work your way around the model plugging each of the motors in. Once that's all done then you can plug it into your computer connecting the FTDI connector to the computer in the multi Wii and the Arduino programs through the um, FTDI bits and pieces and start to program it up. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, any comments or question please post them and I hope that answers the question from my subscriber. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.